You know, there's a Chinese proverb and it says, may you live in interesting times. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the truth on star seeds, light workers, and the ascension of human consciousness that is clearly beginning to take place in these very interesting and kind of confusing times. So I wanna tell you the truth about it all so that you can play an integral role in the ascension that's taking place in human consciousness, in humanity. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button on the side right over there so more people see it. And let's dive right into this video. So the first thing that you need to know is that crisis is forced awakening by the universe. So we're all spiritual beings in a physical body. We're all souls and we've all incarnated here in this dimension in order to evolve and in order to ascend. And so oftentimes crisis happens and ultimately once the death settles here with all of this, you know, virus talk and, and, and people being sick and people, a lot of people are losing their jobs and there, it's a, it's overall between economics, uh, finances, business, and then the healthcare system and just, uh, illness and all these things. There's a lot of things that are up in the air right now. And ultimately all of this will take place. And I believe ultimately this is going to one day bring us all a lot closer together. This is going to help awaken us to really take our health more seriously. This is gonna awaken us to have a deeper connection with God, with the universe, with our spirituality. It's gonna allow us to ultimately be kinder to people, to become more self-reliant. And this is all eventually going to be a part of this human awakening. And as someone that is watching this video, this is the sign that you are a light worker, that you are an integral part of the ascension of humanity, of the ascension of human consciousness that is taking place right now. It is a part of your soul mission to be involved as a light worker, as someone who is intricately contributing and helping and assisting others during a time where they may be full of fear, they may be full of doubt, they may be full of worry. And so what I invite you to do is remind yourself, I am a light worker. I am here to help change the world. I am a light worker. So what I'm inviting you to do is comment down below, I am a way shower. Way shower, you are showing the way to love, you are showing the way to health, you are showing the way to peace, you are showing the way to kindness, you are showing the way to calmness, and we're all one consciousness. Now, you are a domino effect. As you remember that you are a light worker, that you are here to help contribute, you become a domino effect that helps other human beings, other souls awaken. So comment down below, I am a light worker. The second thing, the second really important truth that you must know as a, as, a, as a light worker, as human consciousness is evolving right now through forced crisis, is you can't feel bad enough to make anybody else feel better right now. And because we're so empathetic as human beings, especially people that are, are, are more em empathetic, people that are more connected to their spirituality, Oftentimes they feel kinship, connection to people. And what happens a lot of times is we start feeling really bad. But remember, there's no amount of bad you can feel to make someone else feel better. You can't be poor enough to make somebody else rich. You can't become sick enough to make the sick feel better. The way you're going to contribute is to remember that we're all part of a collective energy field. And as you awaken, as you awaken, and as you, radiate calmness into this universal energy field, as you radiate love into this universal energy field, as you share love, kindness, compassion with other people, as you start to work on the things that are most important and valuable to you, starting a new business, working on your dream art, uh, 
piece, making your new album while you're quarantined, whatever it is, you start to uplift human consciousness. Remember, I intend to feel good. Say that to yourself. The primary intention in which you incarnated here in this dimension was to feel good. Because feeling good is feeling God. Feeling good is feeling spirit. Feeling good is spiritually awakening. That's how you awaken. That's how you become conscious, is to feel good. So comment down below, I intend to feel good. Comment that down below, I intend to feel good. And remind this to others as well. Let's say, let's stop for a moment. Let's take a deep breath right now, and let's intend to feel good right now. What would it feel like to intend to feel good? Say, I intend to feel good. Like the Chinese proverb says, may you live in interesting times. Indeed, these are interesting times. These are times where many people will shrink. These are times when many people will get afraid. These are times when many people will not go after their dream, their dream business. There's this time where many people will perpetuate fear and be afraid. And then there's gonna be people like you that are gonna show people the way. There's gonna be people like you that start to use this time to start to step into the person that they've always wanted to be, the person that you knew you incarnated to be, the person that you knew in, in the depths of you that you had available. You are a light worker. You can show that you can have financial independence, health. You can feel good. You can share kindness, love, compassion, generosity. You can step into your purpose, which is ultimately to become a domino effect, to help uplift and awaken human consciousness. So if you're still on this video, make sure you share this with some other people that are light workers as well. Make sure you share this with some of your friends and family. Remember, sometimes crisis is a forced awakening. I dream of and I envision a world where all of these things that are happening ultimately one day will propel us into greater health, happiness, prosperity, kindness, freedom, less drama. And I really believe that that's what's on the other side of the horizon. And it's up to people like yourself to take a deep breath and to start to embody that consciousness and that frequency. Heaven isn't in the life after. Now, it may be there, but it's here on earth as well. Heaven is here on earth, and it's up to people like you to start to bring that frequency to life as a light shower and as a domino effect, and to help other people remember. So make sure you hit the like button on this video. It'll send this out into the YouTube universe so more people see this. Make sure you hit the like button, send this out so more people will see this. So if you hit the like button, you contribute to sending this out to more people, so I do appreciate you doing that. Right there down below is my free success hypnosis. It's jakeshypnosis.com. I created a success hypnosis to help you reprogram your subconscious mind. The reason I did that is because now more than ever, what happens is we start taking on other people's energies. We start taking on the collective consciousness and we forget that ultimately due to free will, we can hold our consciousness, our vibration, our energy at any level we want. So instead of being conformed to the world, like it says in the Bible, be not conformed by the world and be transformed by the renewing of your own mind, you can renew, you can reprogram and rewire your mind for success, for love, for happiness and prosperity right now. This is the most important time to do this. So please make sure that you use this every morning and every night. Share it with your friends. It's a free success hypnosis. Now about a million people from all over the world have used it. Now it's important to sow the seeds of prosperity, success, love, and freedom in your subconscious mind. So right there down below is jakeshypnosis.com. It's right there down below, pinned to the comments. That's jakeshypnosis.com, right there down below. And it's my free success hypnosis to sow these seeds so we can help create a more prosperous, a more happy and harmonious society together instead of being overtaken by all of the conditioning of our world. So jakeshypnosis.com, it's free right there down below, pinned to the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and bell. Bell notification notifies you for new videos. So even if you're already subscribed 9 million and 14 years ago in seven days, make sure that you actually hit the like button or check if you have hit the bell notification rather, because that's what will notify you for new videos. So have an absolutely great day. Remember, 
We are all part of a collective awakening of humanity. We're spiritual beings in a physical body. And for whatever reason, you have chosen to incarnate here in this body. And the question to ask yourself is, what is my soul purpose? What is my soul's mission? Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.